a surgery on a patient to get rid of forefoot ulcers by doing a gastroid recession, which we did back here. She's healed nicely from that. And after she healed from that, she began to develop a heel ulceration. Now we kind of know that uh, patients can develop uh, heel ulcerations from, from doing gastroid recessions due to some over lengthening can happen and then you get the transfer of the ulcer and the bottom of her foot to the heel. However, in this patient, I feel that might be the real cause. What she also had was posterior tibial tendon dysfunction. So I was able to, to alleviate issues she was having with her heel with the ulceration. It's already healing now with just a few weeks after the surgery by doing the hypercure uh, implant. So if you look on the lateral aspect of her foot, you can see that we did this. About a year after we did this tendon, we have just put a hypercure in here about three weeks ago. And you can already see that the uh, heel was beginning to actually heal up. So sometimes these heel ulcers may not necessarily be, may be not necessarily caused by uh, over lengthening of the posterior group and pressure. It could also be because the patient has a torque in the back of the heel. If they have an unstable flexor rear foot, that can cause a torsion and all sorts of a, a rubbing of the heel as well and cause an ulcer as well. One of the added benefits she has of this surgery, she was having neuropathy symptoms due to, tar due to tarsal tunnel syndrome as a result of this flattening her foot here in the, in the over pronation. So now that those symptoms have gotten better too. So let me ask the patient, before the surgery, of course, we had the heel. We've had a lot of ulcers here. We're kind of balancing everything out, but we got rid of these ulcers, and then we, had, we developed this, and now this is going away. You were actually having a lot of pain with this heel. Is it better now? Is how much better do you think that it is? It's a lot better. A lot better. Okay. I don't have the burning and the aching. And so, okay. It's, it's a lot better. So I'm very happy with good. it. Good. So the burning and aching over just a, in just a few weeks is getting better. So Hypercure has a, a place in the treatment of our diabetic patient population as well, uh, not just with uh, issues related to uh, flat foot and overpronation in our active patients, but some of our diabetics need this too. So our research shows that we get improvement of uh, plantar forefoot pressures, improvement of torquing and shear and things that happen in the foot. So it's a good technique. Some a lot of diabetics have tarsal tunnel syndrome. And this, is the, and this may be the reason for the burning, so it could be compression of the nerve. So but used for uh, decompression because you get, uh, when you, if you uh, stabilize the subtalar joint of rear foot, you open up the tarsal tunnel by about 16%. Studies have shown that. So that's, uh, this is a good technique for use in our diabetic population as well.